Hello everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here in Hoi4 playing as Vyatka, having a great time in what was once known as Russia, but let's do our focus, in which I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should do a new age of war, or learning from the past, or lessons from the past. Well, with what you guys have said, it most likely would be best if we did a new age of war, which was two of the comments from yesterday, but let us begin. It is evident from Russia's string of military defeats in the past century that our tactics and strat strategic thinking are both seriously outdated. How many millions of brave Russians died in the Crimea, the Great War, and Barbarossa because of their commander's failure to adapt to a changing battlefield? How many defeats could have been avoided if not for their stubborn, politically motivated conservatism in our officer corps and military academies? The Imperial Russian Army has a moral responsibility to its soldiers and its families. A responsibility to ensure that as many men as possible can make it home, or at last, or at least, that their lives are not wasted in the vain, glorious charges into machine gun fire or the last stands amidst a rain of bombs and artillery shells. The officers must swallow their national pride and accept the fact that being Russian is not a mark of quality for the military. Times have changed, and so must they. Lessons must be learned, and from the Americans, the British, and even the Germans, imperial glory will forever escape us if we do not adapt to the modern battlefield as soon as possible. And thank you to everyone who made their choice about regarding which focus we should do. And Russia is killing itself because the terror bombing from the Luftwaffe has stopped, which is a good thing. And we can do military exercises, which is okay. We should really wait, though. Reunification of Russia someday. New Age of War? It's already done. Imperial Commandos. Though the last war of the Empire fought was one of mass infantry and cavalry, the war was very different on the Western Front. Far from the steeps and grasslands of Poland and Ukraine, the Germans began to break the deadlock of trench warfare with their Stolstruppen. Specialist infantry trained in infiltration and close quarters combat. By the time of the Second World War, such specialist units were standard much around the world. The British Airborne, U.S. Marines, and Italian Alpini all played crucial roles in battles that decided the outcome of the war. If you would like to read this for the Her by the International Herald Courier, go right to him. They call him the father. As part of the Imperial's military modernization, it simply must have its own elite contingents. The British in particular offer a fine example to follow. Despite their defeat, the British commando and guards unit fought valiantly in the face of the Axis powers, and the Emperor would have his best men learn from their example. The Imperial Airborne Divisions, Imperial Marine Corps, and Imperial Mountain Europe rifles will be the cream of the Russian military and the envy of the world's special forces. Get less population, more special forces attack and defense for a year. Let's see what we can do with that stuff. Oh, what do we have up here? Anything? Oh, yeah, something. Pierre Pouget, elected president of France. Well, good luck, France. What else can we do here? Uh, oh, purchase military access. Request access to where is this group? So we're to St. George. We love St. George. Varkuta is right there. Where is that? Oh, you're right there. Oh. Duh. Um, would it, is that really worth it? Request access? Uh, I'm not sure about that. What do we have? Western Reclamation. We'll keep that open for now. We can keep this one closed. What is going on? Oh, initiate the raid. Oh, da 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 da. What am I thinking? I'm not. Just go ahead. We're still kind of weak, but that's okay. Alright, let's see what happens. They might back down, they might not, and they tri paid the tribute. Good for them. Now we can fortify our borders more, which would actually probably be a good thing. We're scavenging for loot as well. Fortify the borders down here, fortify the borders over here. I'm not too worried about these borders just yet, so let's do the ones in the south first, probably. Unless we want to scavenge for stuff. We have a moderately strong economy. Decrease economic support. Uh, let's see. I really don't want to hurt the economy or anything like that, but I do want to help out my popularity support. Uh, you know what, just in case. We could do that. If I do anything here, it doesn't really help us at all. Yeah, this all this stuff doesn't really do much for us. Hold a public speech so we get more stability, which we don't need. Peaceful unification, which wouldn't help us at all. I wish I could like do state of the economy or something here that could decrease my stability in exchange for like popularity support or stuff like that, but just go ahead. And do these borders, that's fine. You never know, we might need them eventually. Oh, right, Russia's finest. Vyatka's military was in a sad state of affairs when the Empire be Emperor began his program of reform. Little more than con conscripts with rickety old rifles, led by a pack of old men, they were hardly the sort of force needed to unite the Rus and liberate the motherland. They wanted it for everything planes, tanks, modern firearms, and trained officers, and a properly or proper military drill. There was little to recommend them, and the Emperor spent many a sleepless night fretting over how he could possibly hope to lead such men to victory. Now he can watch them on the parade grounds with a proud smile on his face. Units maneuver as a well oiled machine. The officers spent hours reading upon up on the latest tactical manuals from America. The infantry march, train, and fight with the precision and ferocity born 
torrent of countless weeks of drill. The Imperial Russian army is a long way to go before being worthy of an empire or a match for the Germans, but for now, it is the best it can possibly be. The Emperor would seek or ask no more of his men. More worse part, lose political power, and instead of political interference, we get a professional army. So political interference, a professional army. Oh, we get more attack, more defense, recovery rate, more political power gain every day. Oh my god, yes. Go ahead and sign up or and look. I let time go on in the background just so we can get through this a little bit faster. Do we actually have another division? <gasps> we do. Oh my goodness, we do have Oh, look at that. Five elite infantry. Oh, that is so good. Nice. I like the elites. It's recon, they got logistics. Oh, that 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 just warms my heart, man. That just warms me heart. And the Russia's finest. Beautiful. Now we should be getting some serious political power. Nice. And begin the reclamation. Order has been restored to Vyatka thanks to the tireless efforts of the Emperor to rein in his feuding officers. The centralization of the authority is also complete. This military force part is easily a match for anyone we might face in our campaign to unify Russia. We are a long way from being a true Russian Empire again, but we are as ready as we'll ever be. This is it then. Do or die. The time has come to ride forth from Vyatka, spreading the light of monarchy, Christianity, and anti Bolshevism in all directions. Citizens and soldiers alike cheer on the Emperor as he exhorts them exhorts him to victory. The spirit of Russia yet lives. Uh, in the heart of every Vyatkin burns a patriotic flame that will cleanse the motherland of traitors, secessionists, and foreign invaders alike. This is what we came here for, to deliver the Rus from anarchy and tyranny, to unite the peoples of this once great land, to smite down any who would see us fall back into darkness. Arise, sons of the motherland, arise, men of the emperor, arise, Russians, once and one and for all, fix the bayonets, lock and load, ride forth victoriously. F S. Nami Bog. S. Nami Bog. Oh, sorry, I'm not Russian. Sorry. But let's see what we can do. Oh, build new schools. I love more agricultural stuff. Let's do that one. Can't do anything down here, which is fine. Close that out. If we can go to war with whoever we want. Uh, Polish Autonomous Soviet S Socialist Republic. What the heck? Central European. Oh my goodness. And begin the reclamation. The Empire strikes back when the Red Menace swept through the Russian lands more than 40 years ago. They thought that the last few remnants of Tsardom had been eliminated from Russia. However, we have now returned, perhaps stronger than before. What started as a group of emigres heading eastwards and remembering the better times before the Bolshevik takeover has grown into something much more. The Romanov Empire lived on Vyatka, and now we've acquired enough strength to expand. Starting from our closest neighbors, all warlords and enemies will all fall, one by one, like dominoes. Everyone, whether they be socialists, fascists, or despots, will be invaded and fall to the Empire. It has taken a few supporters a lot of time, effort, and luck, but now it's time for monarchism to make its final return to Russia. The Empire, once defeated and its people oppressed, will strike back and take back what is rightfully hers. Put a power, stability, another division! Oh god, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like, pretty good about this. Boris, do you have any upgrades? You got plenty of command power. Logistics wizard, huh? You are a field marshal, so why are we using you? Uh, you, you should have that. And we definitely want to be on the offensive, so we have to have that as well. So, are you an okay infantry person? You have to 30. Oh, a skilled staffer. That's kind of nice. Expert delegator. That's not bad either. Do we have anyone who has better attack than you? Three attack. That's not bad. Five attack. Out of supply. Oh, yeah. This is who we want to use for attack. Skirmisher, air assault, probing attack. Eh, that stuff can wait. Cool. Empire strikes back. Let the thunder of victory rumble. 21 days. The rum drums of war can be heard in Vyatka and Izhevsk. As a proud army of the Empire mobilizes and prepares for armed conflict against its neighbors. While that is happening, the people in our territories proudly exclaim their support for the monarchy and celebrate what could be the beginnings of reunification. Capitalizing on the sediment and to show our power to other Russian warlords, we can organize one large glorious military parade in the capital before the campaigning begins. Select army units will be proudly marched down the streets and roads as the army choir celebrates with well-known patriotic and marching songs. The people of Yadka will be out in the streets and the support for the reclamation will only increase further. More war support. Great. Until we lose the battle. Oh. Lots of war support until we lose battle. Oh, yeah, we definitely want to speak on the radio. We gotta get that one. Uh, where is the... Thing? Oh, we can do military exercises, which is fine. I'm not gonna build this area up. If we... Oh, we have forts down here. Great. Great. I wonder which way we can go. Is Ud Mort. Oh, let's look at everyone. Oh, culture is... Russian. Muscovy looks really bad right now. Holy cow. Of course, Ossine does as well. Apparently, another comment from yesterday was that the Germans of war now can go nuclear, apparently, or something. You know, they can go like, kaboom! Which sounds really awesome. I kind of want to see that. But we'll see what happens. A little bit of lag. That's okay. You guys are killing each other as well. This does not look good. Novo Sibirsk, which I'm going to assume is New Serbia. Not New, not new Serbia. New Siberia. Divine Mandate of Siberia. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Who is this? Our Holy Duty? Faith in the Holy... 
Who created this? Who created this? I want to know. Please. Nice. Let's go and do operational or operation particle slime. Uh, go and do that. Go right ahead. The Imperial Army is fully prepared for a military attack on the territories of Berensk as per operations. Particle Sun. The majority of the Army division is ready for assault is in position and based on current estimates and plans has the capability of achieving all strategic goals within a short period of time. A diplomatic situation, namely a high-profile meeting between His Imperial Majesty and Governor A. Kazembek, is strongly recommended by the High Command and the Chief of Staff. Should a deal with the partial concessions for the Governor not suffice, then Operation Particle Sun is encouraged as a contingency plan. May the rogue Governor be destroyed as by the Army if he chooses to go on his own. Alright, so we actually have quite a few divisions. I would love to beat these guys up some more. But let's not do that. Focus on defense at war. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, let's see, we have... We could fortify the borders here, but... Speak on the radio. Yeah, we definitely have to do that. Nice. 57% is not bad. This is the government that we must focus upon. Which we actually ensure our border with, which is not bad. Let time go on. Let's see what happens. We get 1.55 political power a day. That's so good. No, Aryan Brotherhood. No, that is my land that I want to take. Don't you flip and dare. No, don't take him out. Don't take him out. I want to take him out. Let me go to war with you. God, I need to play as this faction someday. Oh, they're probably... Have no oh. Up ah, they can go to war as well. Which means we might end up going to war with someone else too, eventually. That we don't really expect. Which is not a good thing. Please hold up for a couple more days. Please, 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 at least 10 more days. That'd be good. And we have a cup of very nice coconut macadamia nut tea. Good, good stuff. Oh, they're not going to hold out. We beat them up too hard. They just got beat up by everyone else. Oh, please, please, please hold out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't surrender to these guys. Particle Sun. If you want to read this, go right ahead. The High Command was divided by the issue. Many knew that an invasion of the rogue territory would be only bad for Vietka and it was preventable. And so Siki to negotiate with Kazembek was the best solution, so that did not stop the rest from advocating for justice against a traitor in the form of war. In the end, the decision was up to the Emperor. Uh, let's see. The fringes of the frontier drifted further and brought them under control. He still maintained a form of loyalty to the throne. Invade? We could invade, we could just strike him down now. But that could put us in a war with the Aryan Brotherhood, which we might be able to strike right now. Let's go with the peaceful solution. Oh crap, I should have read that. Oh, I should have went I should have done this. I should have read done this one. Oopsie. Oh, we should have annexed them later on. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Uh mmm. The town of Yuria lies near the frontier between the rightful Tsar's government in Vyatka and the rogue region of Berenz Berezniki, taking over the Meadorosi. It is not particularly notable for anything other than its geographical position, but will soon hopefully become known for its conference, which will be held there. Seeing as Alexander Kazembek, the governor of rogue Berenzis, Berenzniki, or B, I should, have I should have really invaded these guys. Only cares about himself and shares some of the part of his ideology with the distinct monarchism that we follow. It is not unthinkable to attempt to peacefully reintegrate the fiefdom into the empire. Hence, a meeting between him and the emperor shall be held in Yuria to discuss some of the terms of economic reunification. We can only hope that it's successful and renders the use of violence unnecessary. It does not exist. You know what? I hope I don't get locked out of my focus tree here because of the Aryan Brotherhood. I really hope to God I don't. I don't think they'll be able to hold it for the next 10 days, so. So if that does happen, well, you'll see a fade in, fade out. Oh, no, no, no! Um, okay, oh, never mind, okay, so this, this is cool. So, let's, let's look at this. So, we integrated the troops to get more army XP, more war support. Concessions, so we lost political power, non-socialist trade unions, not bad. More industrial and monthly poverty change, plus 25. We annex them, speak with the Grand Master before deciding our course of actions. I definitely want to kill off other people. Hold on, please give me one moment. Uh, and now let's go ahead and speak with the Grand Master. To the northeast of us lies the region of Gene. Under the administration of the Order of St. George, a group of warrior monks emerging from the chaos of the West Russian War. Experts in the War, their holy and solemn vow to protect the innocent in these times gave the brothers of the Order a discipline unmatched in West Russia, perhaps in all of the former motherland itself. Before the Emperor can make any move towards the north, we must resolve the matter of these rogue and capable band of patronizing monks. Before resorting to war and conflict immediately, however, perhaps a diplomatic situation can be found. 
After all, before the days of the Union, the Church and the Order itself were once allies of the Emperor, lifting the weight of the crown from their weary hands. We will send them envoys to bring them to heal under the terms of the Emperor, for what was once won, let no man dare divide. Cool. We will meet with the Grand Master. Hopefully, no one attacks us. Maybe except for these guys. Do they got resistance? Yes, they do, and that's a good thing. Uh, I really don't trust these guys, so I'm going to do this. We have quite a few divisions, so I'm feeling kind of okay about that. Alright. Uh, prepare... We can prepare a raid against them. Scavenger loot, though. Um, against St. George, Aryan Brotherhood. They're looking kind of strong. And where would we do that? we do that right here over the river. Uh... We could do that. I really don't know what these guys are going to do next. So dissolve the councils. Please go to war with me. Integrate the Russians. Nixon. Who is what? Tricky Dick. Come on, man. Bashkiria. Kiria. Where is that? Bashkiria. Is it right there? The Real League. Oh, right there. So they go to war with those guys. All right. Well, you know what? Let's see what these people say first. If they don't want to come into our lands, then we'll kill them off. Try to Republic is... Ooh, Re Islamic Republic. Oh, maybe them. Maybe them instead. Yeah, I'll do these guys instead. That's fine. Three. Prepare for a raid against the Islamic Republic. Cool. I love the Islamic Republic. Cool, cool, cool. And we got like a week left. Cool. Sip of tea. Good stuff. Oh! Army interoperability. Great. Now, these are not mutually exclusive, actually, so that's pretty good. More ground support, support companies. Uh, let's see. We already have some recon on our divisions. I don't mind getting more organization from support companies, so let's try that one. Ah, uh, 1950s artillery armament upgrade. Very good. Uh, I guess we get more soft attack too. Why not? We can't support it too much, but whatever. Uh, military exercises. Go ahead. Pay the tribute or die. And they refuse tribute. That's fine. I. Hopefully we can win this one. Speak with the Grand Master. <sighs> oh, we get a rich. We will defeat the wretch cult as a show of faith. The Warriors of Christ sounds really good. They join us. Privileges for the church. Operation Crooked Cross. Oh, there's Aryan Brotherhood. We can go to war with them. Ease their legacy. Or erase them. Not ease them. Erase them. For Guardian Emperor. Gains core. That's not bad. Or Dragon Slayer. Declare war on them. Get some guns. Get some radar. Get some political power. Uh, I kind of like getting the core if I could do that. Hopefully we're going to be winning here. Let's see what he chooses though. Guidance or an audience with the Grand Master. Cool. Accept the challenge. Um. What are we doing? What is the challenge? He was cold. But oddly considerate of his compatriots and followers. Huh. What do, what does he have to do to the south of both states as a different allies a common enemy, the Aryan Brotherhood? Doing try crimes against the Russian people. Oh yeah. To basically, the challenge is to kill them. Oh, yeah, we're going to kill them. Oh, yeah. Operation Cro Crooked Cross. Operation Crooked Cross calls for the deployment of force against a, a Brotherhood of Perm, specifically a large fraction of the army. Preparations to conduct the operation as per the exact plans are now complete. And the army group Izhevsk is ready to strike. Once brigade bridgeheads have been captured and secured across the Kama River and a stable flow of supplies is guaranteed, a spearhead aimed at the capital of the enemy, the city of Perm, will be the main priority. Caution is recommended when dealing with the Brotherhood. Reports from operatives in their land and witnesses claim that the group aims to cooperate with the Germans, seeing Slavs as Aryans. Their lifestyle is harsh, and slaves are commonly used. However, their estimated force is weak, and the Russian army is likely to be welcomed by the local population. So, let's not do that yet. We have a couple days before we have to do that. And we're going to gather our soldiers up appropriately so that we can use... Soldiers up. Great. Seize all that we can get. Good, good, good. I love beating up weaker people. Well, in video games. Usually. Usually video games. Alright, so basically we're going to have you guys split off. Because I need you to split off. Let's see. You guys live by Nikolai. Level 5 attack. Good. I'll put you here. Don't do that. You guys are actually going to do... Do we have another army? We only have 10 divisions. I thought we had 10. Whatever. One. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're going to have to... We can't do that. It's fine. 
Come here. Do that. Get yourself situated. We're going to do the best we can. we got to get Perm. Relics of the past. Thank you. But we also must think of the future. M machines or memories of the past. Ooh. Now, hopefully, their resistance is pretty. It's getting higher and higher, which is nice. How many divisions do they have? Silenced, huh? Six to nine. So we're pretty equal, if not stronger than them. Which is a great thing. Hold unification pledge. Hold public speech. Nah. Scavenge for loot. And here we go. Eight days passed. Not bad. Maybe you want to read about this? Go right ahead. Maybe with these. With these, maybe Russia will be rebuilt one day with more stability. And another civilian factory. Ah, oh, you warm my heart. We'll get it done by August now. Uh, hopefully we don't get attacked in the butt. I really hope we don't. So that'd be good. Make sure we motorize. We can encircle that division probably pretty quickly. Pin him down. Encircle. Destroy. Get the perm. Circle. Destroy. That's what we got to do. Fortify. We At this point, I don't know if we really need to fortify this area. Maybe we do. But I'm going to hang on, hang on to my political power first. Come on. Once the focus is done, we can go to war. And we're done scavenging for loot, hopefully, too. Schools, research facilities, or workers. Look at that. Oh, industrial equipment's looking real nice. Um, society, poverty, industrial. Let's, get, let's, let's do more industrial stuff. Why not? Or, uh, let's do workers. Why not? I like workers. It's good to work. Sometimes. 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 What's going on? What's going on? Lozano, elected president of Mexico. A new wave of thoughts. Mexico? What is Mexico doing in this timeline? I have no idea. They are a uh, liberal democracy. Okay, well, not focused. That's okay. Uh, hey, there's that guy. It's 1964. Aren't you supposed to be dead? Mm, I don't know. I don't remember when he was assassinated. About 63, but whatever. Domestic discontent. I, I have to play as America. i got to play as America several different times. There's different paths I want to play. I definitely would play as Tricky Dig. Definitely as JFK. And uh, <clears throat> that last path is Wallace. But some other time. Okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> never mind. I called it. Oh, man. Uh, just take seconds to die. Uh, we are at war. Great. Oh, we have, air we have air wings? I forgot I made these. Wait. Um, Did I even make them? Maybe not. World War II fighters. Yak 3s. How do I increase the numbers here? Uh, okay, just sit. That's fine. Fighters, fighters. Uh, you guys. Wait, I, can I just select you? I just want to select you. There you go. Trash them. So this, we, they can reinforce there. You guys. Can I actually reinforce here? There you go. Totally forgot that you guys existed. So, select all we can. Add new airwing one. No. I don't like how we have to select it like that. I really don't. Whatever. Oh. Synthro Russia. Cool. Now... Where'd their divisions go? What? what? Alright. Oh, you're right there. Well, if that's the case, you're just gonna rush to get all these victory points. Well, if they're not moving in, I guess I will. Okay, then. Pretty good. That was a lot easier than I expected. Sure. So, then, uh, race to legacy. The Aryan Brotherhood is not a proud part of Russian history. It's something that every one of its participants should be ashamed of. It's something that must be erased from history and forgotten forever. Lest it appears once more. Thus, now that the is back under control of the Emperor, and the right steps must be taken to make the traces of the Brotherhood left behind or disappear. Those who once suffered as slaves will be freed, and the proper integration into Russian society must be ensured. All formal signs and relics of the Brotherhood, like swastikas, posters, and buildings, must be systematically torn down and instead replaced with the rightful symbols of Russia. The crown, the imperial eagle, the gold, black, white, tricolor will take their place as signs of the brighter area, the era that is to come to Perm and the nation as a whole. That was exceedingly easy. Mm, I don't know what to say about that. Who integrate? Woo! We lose weekly stability. So it, it'll be worth it. Go ahead and integrate it. I don't, I don't want to deal with resistance in Russia. I really don't want to do Oh, 75 days. Oh my gosh. Woo, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm going to assume these guys are probably good for resistance suppression. For five. Normal infantry is... Nine, but that's just because they're bigger. 
they're just a little bigger. Hmm. Vision designer. All I need is a cavalry division. Your suppression should be good enough. There we go. There we go. All I want are guns. Occupy territories. Use that template. Local police force. Civilian. Uh, honestly, civilian oversight might be, might be better. I want as much compliance as possible, maybe. I don't know. Is local police force better or not? What is that? Yeah. Oh, God. We're missing the manpower. Uh, no garrisons. Imperial detachment. Oh, that's fine. Lose compliance. Martial law. We need... Just go do that for now. We're going to get a lot of resistance. That's okay, though. As long as we get cores on this stuff later on, that's what really matters, actually. Integrate this one, that one. This area is not a core, so we actually have to deal with this. This area and that area. So, oh, actually, this. What is this? Uh, area Brotherhood. Down here, we have to put it at. I don't really want civilian oversight, probably. And down here, I think you. Go civilian oversight, that's fine. It's not exactly like how I want it, but that's okay for now. It's not gonna be perfect, but it is what it is. What else can we do here? Maybe buy stuff, train new workers. I love it. Oh yeah. Military exercises, call me, declare one order of St. George. Oh boy. Oh god, please let me go to war with them. Look at all that money we have though. A hundred million something? Coup in Scotland? If the light finally goes out, Dunehammer Gaming has caused a coup in Scotland. Ah oh, yeah. Oh, the Scottish Day. Hmm. Despotism. That's not Dune Hammer. Douglas. Wembley. And we've erased the legacy. Uh, now what? Hmm. Oh, holy cow. This is, this is long. I like it. Operation Grozny. God, it requires all the following. If it will cancel... It does not exist. Okay. So now I have to make a decision. What what, what do our decisions say now? Alright, let's see. Western Reclamation. Reunification of Russia. Uh, doing okay there. Anything else here? Uh, beautiful Peacification. Passive. Da, da, da. Bomb factories. Not bad. Small donations to the poor. Oh, we get more guns. Not bad. Do we need more guns? No, we're actually doing very, very well on guns. Challenge accomplished. Great. The Wicked Brotherhood has been defeated. Uh oh. Oh boy. They become our puppet. Does that mean we go to war with these guys immediately? Maybe. The Warriors of Christ. Uh, I like that. Let's get some stability more support for some. Since the centuries that span the period before the rise of the Union, the Church has been the guiding hand of the Russian people, shepherding the people of the former empire to their destinies. With the fall of the empire to the waves of revolution that raged in Russia and the ascension of the Union as its sole sovereign authority, the Church has ceased to be the spiritual and moral core of both the state and its people. We must end this backside into barbarianism. With the brothers of the order by our side, the word of Christ shall reign supreme again in the new empire. No longer shall the words of the priests go unnoticed. And no longer shall the unfaithful be allowed to govern over those whose oaths and vows to the divine are sacrosanct. sacrosanct. For we shall re render into God what is his, and give the emperor what is his as well. Alright, so you are now my puppet, and you're getting invaded. The Legacy of the Swastika. Cool. Superior Black League. Free at last. A good thing. Um, I really want to do stuff here, but I don't think we can afford it. Unification. Hold public speech. Uh, big sadness. I want to do more, but I can't. You know what? We could re fortify the border, but it'd just be a waste. What about the equipment stuff? Let me buy that stuff. I mean, I guess we could try it. Purchase military access. It might hurt us in the end, but whatever. Oh, it's only 10 political power. We don't need more guns right now. Construction speed would be nice. Bomb factories. Output is nice, but I wish there was more I could do with this stuff. Oh, grass access, great! And actually, military access, they gain two monies. Oh, we lose payment. Oh, a conservative, yet okay, Russia. Hmm. Well, I guess we just gotta wait for the focus to get completed then. I was hoping that we could go to war with Comey, but, you know, whatever. And in about less than, about, what is that, three, four, five, six, six weeks, we will have two cores over here. And then down here, permanent. Oh! Oh, that gets cored as well, but, ash. Uh, Ashinsky, Ashinsky, will be court eventually. 
Delicate power of German so continues if Barman conquers Hadrish is Germany. Oh no! No! Oh. Oh. Interesting. Brittany is looking pretty thick, not gonna lie. Not spare. No! No! Supreme Soviet defeated. Oh, Supreme Soviet, huh? Oh my goodness. Barman conquers Speer's Germany. Goring and Barman are now killing each other. As they should kill each other. Come on, I want to kill off Comey. Come on, how's this looking? Not bad. Oh, nice. Privileges for the church. Oh, I don't want to zoom out. We'll go this way. Warriors of Christ from the hills or the halls of the fortress monastery of the squirrel's nest. The order spreads itself over the entirety of Gainey, spreading the grace of God wherever they happen to walk. Justice walks in their treads, followed by the mercy and sacrifice of Christ. In the matter of brotherly love and the war, they are equally unmatched. These men who have given themselves the burden of, of the vows of celibacy and protection are now wise to the Emperor's noble intent, following him worthy of their service. The order has seen it fit to lend itself to the task of restoring the Emperor's God given rights of dominion over all of Russia. We shall integrate them into our command structure with the Grand Master Antipin himself at the helm of the this mighty force against misery and disunity. For God now is with us. His blessing is in our hands. Who will stand against us? Comey will. Oh, we're actually losing stability. Look at that. That is not good. Prepare a raid. Oh, I still want to raid people. Uh, but still probably not a good idea for me to attack. I I, I don't feel super confident about that. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, I like this. I definitely want to choose this one. Liquidate state assets. Just so that we can get a better economy. Uh, minor do donations to the poor. Eh. The poor can wait. Maybe. Hmm. We're running out of fuel. Hold on. It's hard to see this. It's very hard to see this. Go ahead and do that. So you shouldn't be using fuel at all right now, actually. So. Very good. Very, very, very good decisions here, but we're not going to do anything about that. Comey. Yeah. Comey. So oh, they're a Soviet. Oh. Against the... Oh. Uh, against the Tsarists. I see. Hey. A bandit state. Do you think I'm a bandit state? Ready the South. We got to go to war before they do anything against us. I don't want them to build a line. Ready the South. I prefer them to take this. Oh, but they're doing... Welcome our comrades. Comey. Oh, wait. Vol... Oh. Hold on. Vologdo? Where the heck is that? Oh, oh, that would not be good if they get... They straight up annex that? Are you kidding me? Really? Oh, God, we need Christ on our side here. But God and Emperor, together with the integration of the warrior monks into the ranks of our military, as well as the expansion of the rights within the Empire, the ties between the Order and the Empire cannot be closer. Perhaps the time is right to discuss and plan for the eventuality of a union. After all, the brothers reigning from the Fortress Monastery to the Northeast can provide us a strategic position with which to strike for the North. We will go into Gainey, not as enemies, but as brothers together in the struggle for the faith and country. Our administrators will cooperate with local priests and monks, joining hands together for the battle against atheism and immorality. The light of the world shall shine again in Russia, and the mercy and love that proceeds from his holy name shall again fill this lawless and godless land. A city built on hill will never allow itself to be hidden. We annex and get a core. I love cores. Alright, let's see what we can do. Scavenge for loot. Good. That's... And that's pretty much it. Pull, come on, core stuff quickly. Core, 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 core. South Africa, no one cares about that right now. We got a lot of war support, surprisingly. The end of the South African War. Peace at last. Well, what happened down here? The, of course it'd be the Boer Republic. Oh, Herzog. Oh, Rage is on. Wolfgang Schenk. Well, good luck. Oh. 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 Oh, hello. Who is Mr. Sunglasses? Friedrich Yank Yankelen. Burgundian system sounds like fun. Well, only if you're in power of the Northern Crusade. There's so much I want to do in this mod. I don't, I don't know anything about this yet, but I'm learning. Let's see. Recon. Our recon will get more recon. I like that. But let's get some line artillery first. I just wish we had more manpower. Come on, cores, cores, go, 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 Power Rangers. Oh. Conquer Goring is gone. Bowman has won. And we just got some cores. We no longer get payments to Zlatost. Which is a good thing. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me they just annexed them. Hey, look at that. Now they're killing each other. They did annex them, but that's okay. Now they have a lot of resistance. Free military factories? What do we do with this? What do I do with this stuff? We get more planes. That's what we're going to do. So you are fighters, close air support, transports, interceptors. I don't want to get confused. What is? What do you think is better? Interceptors or fighters? It seems like fighters probably are not as good as interceptors, but last time I tried using them, 
my game crashed, so maybe that one. Uh, let's see. I'm using close air support, or what am I using? Cast. I am using cast. Cool. We'll see what happens. I'd love to use tanks, but we can't really equip that. High resistance. Yeah. Well, what do you expect, man? Wait, we get no compliance. Oh, why is compliance gain disabled? Wait. Oh, use no. Warman wins the German Civil War. Peace returns to Germany. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. Can I can I core it at all? Or I'll probably have to kill these guys first before we can core it. Oh, integrate acquired states. Um. Hmm. That really sucks. That's a big drain on us. We got an emperor next up. Operation Grozny. So, uh, the regions of Tartarstan and Bashi Bashikira, Bashkira have been under the occupation of separatist forces by which focus on ethnic and religious identity of the people of the region since the last stages of the West Russian War. As the army of Yatka has formed a cordon sanitaire at to the north of the Muslim separatists, preparations and war planning regarding them has begun as part of the reclamation of rightful Russian territory. The basis of Operation Grozny is focused on a general thrust from the north against the defensive lines of both Tartarstan and Bashkiria. However, special measures will be taken to ensure success. For that reason, the preliminary stages of the operation call for the special development of secret agents to help in impending invasion in, as a fifth column. Bashkir and Tatarstan. Tatarstan. Where's Tatarstan? Yura League. Um, where is it? Tatarstan. Bashkiria. Kiria. Guard keep. Actually, can we do this? Against the liberation of the, those people over there. No, that's pretty much it. Um, three military factories. Honestly, I'd rather get more planes for now. We can't really afford them that much, but I still would like them. At least fighters at another division. Nice. Awesome. There's no eight combat with it, really actually kind of sucks, but whatever. That's fine. Hey, get better artillery. Base bleed. Do you bleed? Beautiful. Even more artillery. Uh, fair raid. No, we good, man. We are pretty god darn good. I don't want to waste manpower. Uh, okay, cool. Well, everyone's killing each other. Good for us. Let's see. I was wondering if we could go this way. Oh, declare war in Denmark, huh? Urals. Trans Urals, Ural region, Central Russia. Oh boy. Ah, uh, Tartarstan. Oh, Bash. Oh, oh Bashkir is right there. What am I? I am big dumb right now. It says the Islamic Republic of Bashkurdistan. What am I thinking or doing right now? It's right there, Mr. Mokalever. You are big dumb dumb. Ah, uh, hold public speeches. We don't need more stability. We don't want to lose any more war support. We could put some more forts up there. It actually, wouldn't be too bad. I'm glad we got more power here, though. That's so nice. You know what? Since we're waiting, go ahead and do that. Raid them. Why not? Question of minority rights. Minorities get rights? Eyes on Tartarstan. Grazny. 64 at Tokyo Olympic Games has come to an end. Cool. Uh, oh, Tartarstan is gone. Strike at the Islamists. Cool. So-called Republic of Bashkiria, based in the city of Ufa and exerting its control over ethnically Bashkir lands, presents a danger to the imperial authority we cannot ignore. Their government, one of the Islamists who've been fanatical since the days of the old empire, could at any point strike against our army to gain power and claim the entirety of Adel Ural. It would be prudent for us to strike first and defeat yet another enemy on our way to claim the lands of West Russia. This weak band of separatists will not be able to stand up against our large, well-equipped, battle-hardened military. Which would be a great thing. But let's go ahead and maybe raid against them first. We've got six days. Hopefully we can win the war pretty quickly. Or the, the uh, border war. Which we should be able to do. They only have like two divisions. So invest in small arms. We're kind of good for now. Kind of good. Um, military exercises. We could. There's really not much you can do with political power. What is this? Oh yeah. Let's go, let's go ahead and fight them. Oh, they have four divisions now. Watch out. The shield broken? Oh. They'll eventually kill each other. Oh, God. Peaceful unification. Hold up. Ooh. No. Liquidate the assets. Ooh, what is that? Iberian Union. Oh, my goodness. Gross Athakanischer Reichstag. That looks amazing. Hans Hutisch. What did you do? 
That looks awesome. A massive unit united. Oh, they were with the boar. Oh my good. Oh, what happened over here? Oh my goodness, Africa's falling apart. Then again, I guess Africa and some parts are always falling apart, but that's okay. Please don't do the border war, please. Ooh. Hey, they paid the tribute. Good. Those poor lost souls. Hey, look at that. Let's go ahead and li liquidate state assets. We'll lose political power, but you know what? Our economic strength will increase further. That is absolutely worth it. Resistance, occupation, uh, whatever. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, oh, yes, new schools. Uh, research. Import. Import! Industrial equipment. I want a ton of improvements here for industry. Nice. Kingdom of England's looking pretty good. Siberia declared we're in the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet. Oh my gosh, this looks. We're gonna need more divisions. Oh my goodness. We have no manpower though. We got equipment. We got no manpower. Oh man, this is not looking good. Comey is definitely putting up a fight against these guys. We could always fit Comey up in two. Strike the Islamists. Cool. We are at war. We're doing a good job. Head on in. You guys do that, that, and that. Cut them off. You guys just cut these guys. Cut the capital off. Take that and then go that way. That'll be good. Cool. And anything for a focus stream? No? Okay. The question of religious freedom. We'll see what happens. As long as these guys are pinned down, that's fine with me. That's all that really matters. Because we can encircle them, hopefully, and do a good job. Please get in. Cool. Just go ahead and cut them off completely if you can. Take the victory points. That's all that matters. Come on. We cut them off. Good, good, good. You guys are going to help us out first by doing this, this, that. There. German restores order over, over, over Central Europe. Well, this is looking pretty good. Nice. Take the... Supply point, good. Come back here, we'll help defeat these guys. We can attack that way next. Or you just help attack that way, that's fine. They're gonna lose here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Good job, guys. Good job. Now, you, everyone help out, they can't. Up, oh, we just go division. Great. Two things here, what can we do? We're doing pretty darn well. Focus on defense, eh, whatever. We're not gonna focus on defense. Now, oh my goodness, you are looking extremely weak. Good job, guys. Good job. Beautiful, if I do say so myself. So, the question of religious freedom. The matter of religion and how it should be uh, approached is a hot matter debate in the Russian Empire. On one hand, Christian orthodoxy could not play a larger role in the history and the symbolism of the nation, clearly being a distinct and proud part of our national identity. But, as much as orthodoxy has become synonymous with the Russian people, we must not forget that other religious groups exist in our lands as well. This has become painfully clear with the conquest of Bashkiria, since many Muslims are now under the Russian banner. And the Islamists may not be pleased if we are not let them, or allow them, to freely practice their religion. Hence, all the dominant factions in our politics have begun discussion on what the best course to take on religion is. Seeing the conflict that exists between liberals and conservatives, the matter might be more complicated than we anticipated. So be it. So be it. Ah, uh, yes, finally we can integrate this and get less resistance. Oh, actually, no, we're still going to have resistance here, which really sucks. Just go ahead and integrate as fast as we possibly can. That's that's just probably the most important thing. We only get 1.28. That's not too bad, actually. Uh, good. The Southern Governance. This will slightly decrease coring time. Ah, Komi is next. Hopefully, they stay in their war for quite a while. We really need them to. We really, really need them to. What are we building? A military factories? That is awesome. Build, build, build. Build, build, build. Do we need anything else? Do we need guns? We need just planes. Manpower, really, but that's okay. Great. The Southern Governance. As we expected, the two independent republics established in the wake of the WRRF's collapse have fallen to our might. Military occupation has been established, and as our army, oh god no, uh, works hard to fight the remaining bandits and restore order to the region, we must decide how we'll integrate Bashkir and Tatarstan and treat them. Will the Tatars be equal with the Russians or and enjoy autonomy, or will we assert our control over them and suppress the dangerous ideologies they follow? There are many questions that will be answered as we continue our expansion and could decide the future of the ideal rural region. For now, though, all that will exist are the two governments of Kazan and Ufal, seemingly normal administra administrations with an uncertain future ahead of them. Religion. Hmm. Respecting other religions and ensuring complete religious freedom by the monarchist government. Uphold complete religious freedom. Conservative. Simply acknowledge orthodoxy is dominant. You will have a state religion. Listen to the Order of St. George. Well, what do they say? Um, as an anti-Semite, dude. Hmm. 
Most Tsar supporters play a key role in the country we will build. Let's see. Just backlash. Respecting other religions. Then she has to build on the principles of Christian principles and solidarity. Uh, freedom of religion, but acknowledging the contribution of Ethan Orthodoxy to the country's history and teaching it in schools. Oh, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I don't want to hurt my popularity here. State religion. Uh, Vladimir III still is this way. So authoritarian democracy, we could do that. Sure, why not? I don't know. It's probably the worst choice. We probably can't pour them as quickly, but whatever. We'll probably get some resistance and rebellions. It is what it is. Uh, Imperial Special Forces would be nice. Yeah. It's still 64, surprisingly. This mod does not move very fast. Scavenge for more loot, because we're doing very well. What is going to hit us first? Uh, it might be basic mechanization. Oh, cool. Oh, it might actually be industrial stuff. Yeah. Power tools will eventually become rudimentary manufacturing lines, which would be a great thing. Looking good. Research is looking not too bad. And so the governance is merely a week away. Comey is doing really well. They even encircled some guys. But with us going to war with these guys, that'll be great. Oh my goodness, Austin is doing well. What happened to uh, Bohemia? And Moravia? Moravia. Uh, what happened to Dernitz? All I can say is that, you know what, this is looking really nice. We're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and thicker. We like them thick. We like our nations nice and thick. Ah, oh, the Southern Governance. And let's conclude this episode, maybe with another focus. Why not? Operation Patchwork. Ah, uh, the Komi Republic, which has lied north of our state's frontier ever since its infancy, has well known as a safe haven for all politicians and radicals, something which has made it surprisingly unstable. As it stands in the way between Vyatka and the West Russian Revolutionary Front, it must be dealt with. A swift charge of the army northwards is predicted by the High Command to throw the army of the Republic into chaos, as they are composed of politically opposed and heavily disorganized militias and paramilitaries for the most part. Use of these local forces that are aligned with the right wing and the monarchy is recommended and can prove useful into the struggle to reach and take the capital of Skitiviar. Right across the frontier of the WRRF. We declare war immediately on them, giving them no quarter. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. Especially, they are dealing with this, so that's actually really good for us. That's actually very, very good, and I don't want to waste political power getting uh, forts, like I said before. Oh, sorry, yeah. Romania seems really kind of chill. I wonder if the Italians can expand anymore. Bulgaria looks pretty nice. I wonder if Turkey can expand anymore. State of Iran. The Arab League. I want the Arab League to do something too. Officers reined in. Can the Arab League please do something? Ooh. Okay. The Kingdom of Black Gold. That sounds kind of cool. Let's see anything here. Down south. Speak on the radio? Uh, yeah, we'll probably have to do that one. Yeah, let's do that one. Happy 1965, though, my friends. Happy 1965. Operation Patchwork. And maybe you could capitulate them before the end of the episode? Oh, the Unity Pact is back with the Netherlands and Germany. Oh, yeah, Niederlande and Denmark. Very cool. Quite a bit of lag. Operation Patchwork, and let's finish this off with no other focus. Let's see what we can do. DEFCON 5, huh? We can immediately move in. Some areas. Bennett inaugurated as president of the U.S. Who the heck is Bennett? So you guys actually go there, 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 there. So we can encircle them. You know what? You just hold out. I circle and destroy. Oh, we're all the way up here as well. Nice. You know what? Let's reorganize the line. You guys do that, and we'll get some research. Cool. But we'll end the episode here. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow as we will smash Comey and have a great time doing so. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.